Hey guys, I'm Zen and welcome back to the basement Dino Dungeon. So today I'm super excited because we have the new Jurassic Park Art House playset right here, okay? Check it out. Alright guys, check this out. This is the limited edition SSDC, which is the San Diego Comic Con Jurassic Park Art House playset right here, okay? So it looks fantastic. Let's get right into it. Let's open this and compare it with all the different T-Rex, okay? Because there is a beautiful T-Rex hidden inside. Alright guys, so let's open this up. So this box, you know, the illustration on this box actually looks fantastic. You can actually find this, you know, really trademark and famous Jurassic Park gate right over here. At the side, is just like plants, okay? The other side is the same and you have a like logo right here, okay? So you have to push this out. As you guys can see, there's a like little window right here. So let's get this one out. Wow, let's check out the display. It looks amazing, okay? Let's have a closer look at this display box. Wow, I think it looks fantastic. You can even find like beautiful cutout of the plants right here. So this basically is based on the scene from Jurassic Park, the 1993 movie where the T-Rex actually chomped down on the lawyer, Mr. Ronald Gennaro. Yep, I think so. I think that's his name, okay? So let's take a look at the back of the box. Alright, so basically it has, um, you know, the fencing of the T-Rex. I think it's time for us to take out. Let's get this pack out, okay? Let's try to do this. I think we have to cut this part open. Let's, let me take my trusty pen knife. Have to be really careful when using this. Okay, let's cut this loose. I think we should be able to pull it up quite easily. Let's try this. Okay. Wow, very nice. Alright, I'm definitely going to keep the box, but I'm going to put this aside first. Alright, let's see. Wow, I think this T-Rex looks exactly the same as the Hammond Collection T-Rex, but I'm not very sure. We'll do a comparison later on. So let's see. How we can actually remove this? Let's try to remove the T-Rex first from the bottom, I see. Let's, oh wow, it comes with some instructions as well as, um, you know, this set is actually packed separately. So let's get this out. Let's cut this loose. I don't want to destroy the box or the string, so we have to do this like really, really carefully. Okay. So let's get this out as well. Okay. And now for the T-Rex. So let's loosen the strings right here. Let's loosen the strings. All right. I think this should be quite simple. Yep, there you go. I think the T-Rex, the legs are loose at the moment. So let's cut the strings loose as well. Okay, let's cut this loose. I think it should be easy. I've got the tail out. Looks fantastic. It's time for us to remove the lawyer from the box. Okay, so I think to remove this, you know, you have to like sort of like destroy the box. So there's really not much option, not many options that you can do. So you basically have to rip this open and um, the box will be damaged, I guess. But I think we have no choice unless you just want to display it, you know, in its box like this. But we'll try to paste it right back later on, I guess. We'll, we'll try that. But I need to remove um, th this figure first. Okay, the human figure is out. Looks fantastic. Now let's get the toilet out. So this is basically the little toilet. Okay, wow. Fantastic. There are plenty of like little parts and details. And this is the briefcase. Okay. We also have a hat. Now let's get this little piece of, um, what do you call this? This is like, you know, the backdrop. You can actually use this to display. 
Okay, let's get this signage out. So this is basically, you know, like the signages you can find in the zoo and park. Looks beautiful. Okay, and last but not least, the T-Rex. Let's cut all the strings loose. Okay, there's one over here. Another one. Okay, I think it's out. All right, let me arrange everything neatly and show it to you guys, okay? All right, first, let's assemble this toilet. This is actually like a public toilet in the park. So let's open this up. We have to cut this loose first. Have to be really careful when cutting this. Okay. So let's get the fence. Or rather like the walls of the toilet out. Okay, so you can see, you can actually fold this into like a compartment. So it's basically like a toilet compartment. It's very, very cute and adorable. All right, so let's fold this. Wow, looks fantastic. So it comes with a door as well. So you can actually open this door. Fantastic stuff. Okay. Looks really beautiful. So you can see there is like a, I'm not too sure what this is. It's probably like a toilet paper dispenser. So let's put this onto the toilet. So you can see this is like a little toilet, you know, with the toilet bowl right here. Okay, looks very, very beautiful. So let's pop this in. You just have to like pop this in. Super cool. Wow, it comes with a door. Looks really beautiful, guys. All right. And of course, we have the roof right here. So let's open this up. Have to be careful because this roof, I think, can be quite flimsy. All right, let's try. Yep, it's opened. So this is like the rooftop. How do we pop this in? I think we have to like just push it right in. That's like a little flap for you to like remove it here. Okay, so let's try this. Let's try to fit the rooftop. This is fun. It looks very cute, I must say. Okay. Seems to be quite simple. But we have to lock it in. Yeah, there you go. So I can actually hear like a soft snapping sound. So the toilet is actually done, as you guys can see. So yeah, I think we have to like flip open the toilet door, but it's not easy, as you guys can see. But it looks fantastic. So you can definitely display it with or without the cubicle, cubicle walls, I think. Okay, as you guys can see, this is another option for you to place onto the cubicle walls, as you guys can see. So this is basically to show that the toilet has been destroyed by the T-Rex. So the other option is to have it in its original condition before the T-Rex actually attacked Ronald or Gennaro. So, yep, two options. But I think this option will be better for display. And then you can actually display the toilet door, maybe the toilet compartment, you know, next to it like this. I think it will look fantastic. Okay, it's time for us to put on the accessories of the lawyer. Okay, so this is the lawyer. I don't think he's a villain. He's more like a, um, you know, not exactly a mercenary as well. He's just, you know, a lawyer in um, the company. So as you guys can see, this is the hat. So where is the briefcase? So you can actually put the briefcase uh, maybe, you know, next, next to, um, next to him. Yep. You can see, you can fit his legs, you know, onto the little plastic holder, the little stand like this. Looks fantastic. Let's do a zoom in on this. Yep, so the, the legs can be fit directly, you know, onto the bottom of the, the toilet, which is cool. But it's not really sitting down on it, as you guys can see. Yep. And uh, for the briefcase, we can actually put it right here. You can actually see some paint on my fingers. That is because we are doing a repaint of the Giganotosaurus, which I'm going to show you guys a preview later on, okay? So... Alright, 
so I think we are done. We are done with this. It's time for us to pop in the tail of the T-Rex. So, wow, this T-Rex looks fantastic, but I think the colors are slightly different um, from the Legacy Collection T-Rex. So let's pop this in. I'm trying to see whether there is a direction that we need to pop it in. Let's try maybe um, this direction. I think it should be the same because you're able to rotate it, but maybe let's try this, this direction first. Yeah, there you go. Nicely done, easily done. So the new T-Rex, I think this is very, very similar to the Hammond Collection T-Rex. All right, let's display the figure, but I think let's have a close look at this T-Rex first in case that you guys have not seen the Hammond Collection T-Rex before. So this is basically the new T-Rex, you know, plenty of articulation. Let's start off with the head first. It comes with a movable jaw. And what I really like about this is that you can actually move the tongue and this part which is like the flesh, you know, it's made of like soft rubber, so it looks very realistic. The tongue is very, very nicely detailed as well. Okay, there is um, one, two, two points of articulation just on the neck. You can see plenty of detailing done. You can, every, you can actually even see like every single scale, which is nicely crafted, beautiful paint work. So the body, there are plenty of articulation as well. There's one main articulation right here, which you can move it up, you can move it down, which is incredible. The arms to me, um, looks, the, the arms actually look a little bit too long for me, I think, because T-Rex, it's actually well known for having short arms, but you can see it's very nicely done. One, two, three, three points of articulation. Fantastic stuff. Moving on to the body. There's no buttons, there's no sounds, which is a fantastic thing because you don't have to worry about, you know, changing the batteries. And um, the tail, as you guys can see, is rotatable, okay? And um, there's one, two, two points of articulation. And this part right here, I think it's bendable, but I, 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 I will try not to bend it. And the legs, of course, similarly to all Mattel figures, they can be open sideways, up and down. Um, they can be rotated. I think they can be rotated like 360 if I'm not wrong. Yep, 360 which is fantastic. One, one, two, three, four, five. Five points of articulation. I think this has got to be the most highly articulated figure. Yeah, so fantastic. GOX, the paint scheme is amazing as well. I love it a lot. I think this is this has got to be one of the best looking T-Rex, you know, for, for sure. So let's try to display this, you know, similarly to the scene in Jurassic Park movie. So you have, um, you know, the lawyer hiding. I'm just kind of curious because if you take a look at this, the butt, the behind of this lawyer is actually not on the toilet bowl. <laughs> yeah, it's like standing up. There's no way we can actually make it down. Okay, so just to let you guys know, this is actually electronic. So once you press this button, so let's do a zoom in, okay? Let's do a zoom in. So I'm gonna put the toilet door right over here. The signage can be, you know, somewhere, you know, near him. And this one could be placed, you know, at the back. And you can actually press this. So once you press it, Yep, fantastic stuff. It's basically, did you, did you guys actually hear the sound of thunder and rain? I'll press this again for you guys to listen to it once more. Yep, really fantastic stuff. And you can also hear the roars of Rexy. Yeah, that is Rexy. So wow, this is really, really beautiful. Let's have a close look at this. This is basically the signage. It says that no feeding, no flash photography, no yelling because this is basically a signage near the enclosure of the T-Rex, okay? So I think this is a fantastic set. Um, I'm not too sure where to display this yet. I'm gonna display it in level two Jurassic World Midlands. I'm, I'm gonna show you guys later on where I'll be displaying it, okay? 
Okay, but for now, let's head over to Level 2 Jurassic World Badlands to pick up all the different T-Rex from Mattel, all the big T-Rex from, from Mattel to do a comparison, okay? Let's do that. All right, guys, so what we are going to do next is to bring this set up to Level 2 Jurassic World Badlands to do a comparison with all the other T-Rex. And I will also show you guys where we will be displaying this set, okay? Pretty exciting, let's go. All right, guys, so now we are back at level two Jurassic World Midlands. If this is your first time here, this is basically our little space that we display our Jurassic Park and Jurassic World figures, okay? So what I'll be doing next is, let's bring all the T-Rex down, okay? I think it's time to clean them up as well. We'll put all of them down on the floor and do a quick comparison. There are more T-Rex right here as well. This is the Hammond Collection one. So I think we definitely need to do a comparison um, video of, okay? After that, I think we need to display this set. Maybe here, maybe we'll put the T-Rex right over here. I think we should be able to squeeze it right in, okay? So let's do the comparison first. Let's do this. All right, guys, so let's continue with our comparison video, okay? So this is basically what you guys have seen just now, the Outhouse Playset T-Rex, which looks fantastic. And right over here, it's actually the Hammond Collection Tyrannosaurus Rex. So you guys can see these two are actually the same. They are using the exact same sculpt, just with a different paint scheme. If you ask me which one do I prefer more, I'm going to tell you guys that um, I actually prefer the Hammond Collection T-Rex more, for sure. So what we are going to do right now is that we are going to give each figure a quick bath, okay? Just a, just going to take um, some wet wipes and just clean it down because, you know, I'm putting it on top of my shelf so it can get quite dusty. So every figure, just a quick rub down. You know, they're usually quite clean, so we don't have to worry about, you know, cleaning them in detail, okay? So that's our first comparison. Next up, let's take a look at this. This is an extreme um, chomp, extreme damage Tyrannosaurus Rex. I can't remember. I think this is from the Jurassic World Dominion series, if I'm not wrong. So let's clean this one down. So this is quite a nice figure, as you guys can see. There are two... Um, I mean, just one button right here. So this button actually triggers... Oh, what? What happened? What just happened, guys? Did you, did you guys see that? I think right now it's stuck. Hopefully, it can recover, but seems to be stuck at the moment. Okay, there you go. It's working again. So it comes with this little drawer. So um, most of the figures with this little mechanism right here, this little drawer, which I call it, they are actually from Jurassic World Dominion. I mean... I mean the, the latest ones, okay? So this is Extreme Damage Tyrannosaurus Rex. There is another one, which I think was from Camp Cretaceous. Let me pick this one up. Okay, so you guys can see it is actually stuck to the other um, figure. So let's see. Okay, so this is the other Extreme Damage Tyrannosaurus Rex. So let's clean this one as well. So you can see there's a bit of dirt it's not really dirty, just slightly. So let's clean this one down. So it works similarly, but the coat is actually at the bottom of the feet because this was the older version. So very nice. Kind of like this figure as well. So let us let me put this one right here. Okay. Next figure, let's take a look at this. This was actually one of the very first Tyrannosaurus Rex from Mattel. This is known as the Battle Damage um, Tyrannosaurus Rex. It doesn't feature any Battle Damage mechanism, but you can actually find some scars on its body. So you can see all these scars. They're supposed to be part of the dam Battle Damage collection, okay? So that's the Battle Damage Tyrannosaurus Rex. All right, I'll put this one right back. What about this one? I can't remember what is this. Um, this is probably... Hmm... Epic Roaring T-Rex? Is it Epic Roaring T-Rex? 
I think this could be the epic roaring T-Rex if I'm not wrong. I think so. So let's clean this. It's just slightly dusty. This is this is a fantastic figure, but you can see the roars or the vibration is actually not working because I I think the batteries are weak. Yep. There is there is still a slight vibration. Okay, but I think it is because the batteries are weak. So I think that's fine. There's still batteries inside. So I think occasionally it's important to actually press and activate the sounds of the of your of the dinosaurs. Otherwise, the batteries inside will actually corrode. So you have to replace them like quite frequently, maybe at least um every six months you have to replace the batteries. Otherwise, it will just corrode and damage the dinosaur. Okay, next we have the bite and fight Tyrannosaurus Rex right here. Okay, so let's have a look. Bite and fight Tyrannosaurus Rex, there is no um, sounds or any electronic movements, but it is a very cool figure. It comes with two different actions. One actually triggers the head. So when once you press this, it will just turn its head and um, snap. It's supposed to like open and close quite um, on its own. So let's clean this one up as well. Just a quick wipe down. Okay. So yeah, I mean they're not exactly very dirty. It's not it's not super dirty. Just you know a bit of dust. So you have to clean the feet as well. Cause dust tend to trap in between the toes. Okay. You can see a bit of dust on it for sure. Yep. All right. Next, we have the Stomp and Escape Tyrannosaurus Rex. Not a huge fan of all these um, figures with, um, you know, like harness and protection gear because I feel it's quite troublesome. So, yep, Stomp and Escape. Sounds are still working very nicely. So let's just clean this one down. I feel this figure is kind of like quite dirty. So yeah, I think this figure is a fantastic figure, but the body seems to be very, very big as compared to the rest, but it can stand very, very well, which is something that I really, really appreciate because a lot of figures of mine, they can stand, they tend to fall over, you know, very, very easily. Yeah. So, yep, nice figure. All right, let's put this one back. This one, it's an extreme chomping Tyrannosaurus Rex. It is actually one of the, um, my least favorite series. Do you guys know why? Because of this button right here. You know, all the extreme chomping figures, they have, you know, this issue. The, this button can't be pressed. Yeah. I've been facing a lot of um, issues with, you know, my extreme chomping dinosaurs. So, but in terms of the sculpt, this is actually a um, pretty fantastic figure. I can tell you that, you know, the, the colors, the colors is awesome as well. The colors are beautiful. Yep, plenty of um, articulation. You can actually turn um, the feet, which is awesome. So yeah, I think whenever I'm making a video, I, I take the time to actually use use my time to clean up the dinosaurs. So you, you guys can do that as well, okay? I mean, if you are watching my videos, you know, you can clean up your dinosaurs at the same time. Here's another one, another extreme um, chomping Tyrannosaurus, did I say Spinosaurus just now? I think I beat. Okay, so, yep, this is another version. So I think similarly, it can be, oh, this one has a better, better one. I think this one came along with um, the vehicle, came along with the Ford Explorer. This is slightly newer, newer than the rest, which is why um, the button is um, still working. So fantastic figure. So let me just clean this one down, okay. Right, next. Okay, this was the very first extreme chomping um, Tyrannosaurus Rex, the very first one. This color is basically like the original color. Quite a nice, nice one to be honest. I love this color, it's very classic. But I think this button is not able to work anymore as well, which is kind of sad. So let me just clean this one down. Okay, so, yep, there you go, a beautiful, um, if I'm not wrong, this was actually like close to like four years back, 
2018 if I'm not wrong. So let me just clean the toes. I think the toes are really, really dirty. There's a bit of wet over here as well because we haven't been, you know, using this figure in our video for a super long time. So yeah, you really, really have to take care of them. Otherwise it will become really old and dirty. Okay. All right, let's see what else we've got. I think we're just left with a couple more. What about this one? Oops. All right, this it's basically um, the anatomy kit Tyrannosaurus Rex. You can basically open this up. You know, I'm, I don't really like opening it because I feel that every time we open it, it will become much looser. I mean, the, the joints and the parts will become very loose. So yeah, but I think it's important for us to um, open it and clean it up as well. Okay, so anatomy kit, you, you can basically use this kit to study the internal parts of um, a dinosaur. I mean, of a T-Rex to be exact. So let's just pop this in. It's not exactly super tight, so you have to use a lot of force to make it um, tight so that it doesn't fall off um, easily. So let's try to clean the toes. This, these are the parts which are, you know, very hard to clean and there could be some web and dust stuck in between the hips and stuff. So, okay, nice. I'll put this over here. The other one, it's one which is one of the most problematic figure in our entire collection. I'm not kidding you guys, okay? This one is probably the most problematic because of the feet. There's a button right below. This is known as the um, thrash and throw Tyrannosaurus Rex, one of our oldest um, T-Rex. So there's a button, a huge button right here. Okay, the sounds are working, but this button always causes it to lose balance. You can see it is, it has problem standing. It's not able to stand on its own. It keeps falling over, yeah. But of course, right now it's, it's fine. So let us clean this up. This is like one of our oldest figures. So that uh, tend to have a lot of dust collected on his body. Okay, let me just clean this properly for you guys. Okay, you can see the feet, the toe. The toe claws are actually very, very dusty. So we have to clean it properly. So you can see there's a bit of dirt on it. There's quite a lot of dirt, to be honest. So I, I guess this has to be our filthiest figure. Yeah, let's clean this one properly. Okay, if this figure is known as Thrash and Throw. Thrash and Throw, so you can see, you can twist the tail. Okay, but if you do it too often, I feel the, I feel the parts will just come off. Yeah, so I, I try not to play with it too much. I try not to play with it too much, otherwise the parts will like go loose and stuff like that. You know, because I, you know, ultimately I, I still want to um, collect this figure. So, all right. So that's uh, that's our thrash and throw, Tyrannosaurus Rex. This one, okay. The other one, I can't really remember. Is this known as a destroy and devour? Um, I can't remember the name of this, to be honest. This is like one of the latest ones as well. Yep, one of the latest um, T-Rex that you can find. Um, probably known as a Stomp. I, I really can't remember the name of this. It's a pretty cool one, but this has got to be the chunkiest of all. If you, if you guys know what I mean, because you see this neck right here, if you compare it with um, um, you know, the Hammond Collection Tyrannosaurus Rex. I mean, this is um, technically the SSDC Tyrannosaurus Rex. You can see that the neck of this T-Rex is like super huge, super huge. Okay. Right, so let's clean this one up. I think this one is still quite new. Yep, so basically we have covered every single Tyrannosaurus Rex. What we are going to do next it's basically to put all of them back up onto the shelf. I'm gonna show you guys where we are displaying this particular set, okay? I think all the T-Rex will go up, or else the accessories, which is, you know, the lawyer, 
um, runner Gennaro and the toilet will go into the shelf okay so let me put all of them up and um, I'll show you guys okay all right guys so you can see all the t-rex are placed back onto the shelf so I've like sort of like reorganized them and try to place them as neatly as possible I mean of course not every one of them is like aligned properly but yeah you can find the new um, the two new T-Rex right here, the Hammond Collection one and the one from um, the Art House set. So what we will do next is that we will place these accessories into this little compartment right here. Okay, so let's do this. All right, so let's place in this little um, background first. Okay, and next this one. So let's just put this one right here, okay? I'm just gonna put the accessories next to him. And um, this cubicle, maybe I'm just hide this in um, one of the corners right here, okay? Next, we put in this signage right here, okay? And I think, yeah, this looks really, really nice. So this is basically where we are displaying, you know, the accessories and right here is where we are displaying the T-Rex. I, I, I know that, you know, they're displayed separately, but you know, there's no way we can actually fit the T-Rex into this small little compartment. But we'll see, we'll see. All right, guys, thanks for watching this video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the unboxing and of course the comparison video, okay? Thanks for watching this. Stay tuned for the next video because there will be a repainted Giganotosaurus really, really soon. So stay tuned. Make sure you subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.